Hello all, today we'll be discussing about how we can deploy a machine learning model by using Flask. This is one of the video that everybody, most of my subscriber were requesting for that. I'm extremely sorry that I've just put up. No, it just got a little bit delayed because I was busy. But today I'm going to deploy, uh, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a machine learning model by using Flask. It is a very simple technique altogether. So make sure that the most important components that you require in this particular session is basically that you should have one model building file that basically means that one py file will be responsible for creating your model and this also involves feature engineering all the data pre-processing and the type of model that i have basically taken is a very simple one because the main agenda of this particular session is to show you how you can deploy the model the second thing is that you need to have one index.html file so that this will basically act as your front-end web app so that any request that you give it to your model, which will be in the form of API, which we are going to host through Flask, it will interact with that, get the output from that particular API itself. And then there are some stylings also I've included it. I've, I've, I'll go, I'm going to put down this whole code in the GitHub and the description will be given in the video, um, in the description box about the URL of this particular GitHub link. So you can refer it from there. Then I also have one more uh, PY file. One is called as app.py file. In this, what I'll be doing is that I'll be writing my Flask code wherein I will be uh, creating the APIs, like how our APIs URL will look like, like uh, our local host address slash predict, okay? And another API is basically slash predict underscore API. So we'll discuss first about model.py, where we'll be seeing that how the model is actually created. So for this, I've taken a data set which is called as hiring.csv data set. I'll just tell you I'll just tell you about this particular data set what this data set is all about so let us just go and see about the data set altogether now here you have some fields like experience test score interview score and based on all these parameters you have to provide the salary to the uh, technical guy who has come for this particular interview now here you can see that uh, you have something like experience field test score field and interviews underscore score field and this is basically your independent feature. Salary is your dependent feature. In experience, you have uh, the number of years of experience that you basically have in terms of strength. So one feature engineering work that I'll directly show you is that first of all, you need to replace NAN with zero because experience, if it is NAN, that basically means the person is having zero experience. And all those strings, you have to basically convert it into integers. Now in the test score, you can see that there is also NAN then we'll try to fix this by finding out the mean of all this particular test score and interview score also mean of, uh, if, uh, there is no NAN in the interview score, so you will not do that. Um, one more point I want to note, uh, I want to make you note that that test score usually ranges between zero to 10. Similarly, interview score also usually, usually ranges between zero to 10. And based on that, you will be able to predict the actual salary that should be given to the candidate. Now this is a small data set guys. I just wanted to show you how the main deployment is done. So I've just taken a small data set, applied a large, uh, linear regression to this and tried to show it. Okay, so let us go ahead with the code. As said that for the experience, I'm going to fill the NA value with zero. So here it is. Then for the test score, what I'm doing, I'm trying to find out the mean, wherever I have the NAN value, I'm going to replace with the mean. And I'm also taking n is in place is equal to true. Now in the X, I have all my independent features. So let me just execute this three line. Um, I'm also going to convert that first experience field from string, string to integer. So for that, I'm making a function which is said as convert to int. Here are all my words and I'm going to just apply that by using a Lambda function in my experience. Field. This is all feature engineering guys. Don't worry about it. You can download this particular code from the GitHub link that I provided in the description. Now here you can see that these are all my independent features. Experience, test underscore score, interview score. Now you can see that this is basically being uh, replaced. The NAN value is basically replaced with the mean of this. And instead of NAN here, I have zero zeros. So it is perfectly fine. Then my Y, which is my dependent feature, I'll just use I lock feature and take the minus one feature. That is, this is my feature with respect to. And after this, what you can do is that you can apply a linear regression. You already know how to apply a linear regression, I guess. So then I'll do a fit. After doing a fit, uh, my model will be ready. After my model will be ready, I'll just use pickle.dump. This pickle is basically coming from um, the pickle library. So this pickle helps you to create a pre-compiled format uh, um, 
model name, uh, which will just be like a file, which will have an extension like .tkl. So here you can see that I'm having that particular model .tkl. Okay. So finally, if you want to test it, what you have to do is that model pickle .load and you can test it. But anyhow, your model .tkl file is ready now. You make sure you execute this and just put the create a model .tkl file. So this is the one thing that you require. Now let us move ahead and try to see how we can create our Flask environment with where we will be creating our APIs, where we will be reading this PKL file, and then we will give the input to the PKL file, and then finally from the PKL file we'll basically get the output. So for that, <coughs> I have created a file called as app.py. So in this app.py, I have three import statement. One is numpy. I'm going to use. I'm going to use pickle, and I'm going to import use Flask since I'm using Flask basically to host my model. Okay. So from the flask, I'm being using fast JSONify and render underscore template. Render underscore template will actually help us to, you know, redirect to the first home page that we basically have. Okay. Initially, then in that particular home page, we'll try to put some inputs. And then as soon as we submit the submit button, we will get the output. Now, so far as usual, always make sure you write this particular first line of code because you have to initialize the flask app. Then write pickle.load, open this particular pickle file in, in a read mode, okay, bytes mode. So once you read it, your model is ready now, okay. Then you have two functions that I've created. One is define home. Basically, this is basically that the root node where it should root API URL where it should go, okay. It will directly redirect you to the index.html file, which is my, this file, okay, which is my first file, which will be just like my home page. Then what I do is that, I create my another API that is slash predict and always use this app dot route because in Flask you have to use this in order to create any number of uh, URIs with respect to the API. Okay. And the method that you're going to use is post. After this, what you do is that now you know that during predict, what will happen? We will be providing three inputs because in my variable, my independent feature has three inputs. So I'll be providing these three inputs. As soon as I provide these three inputs, this will be, uh, uh, you know, read it since it's a post request, I'll be reading it from request.form.values. So each and every values will be available over here. I'll convert that into an array. And finally, I'll just do model.predict of final features. And finally, I'll just output, uh, I'll just get the output and I'll round it off. So then after this, I'll return that render underscore template in index.html. I will say prediction underscore test should be replaced with this particular value. Now, where should this value get replaced? Now, let's go to the index.html. Here you have a placeholder called as prediction underscore test. Okay. And this, this particular placeholder will get replaced with the uh, value that I'm going to pass it over here. That is employee salary should be so and so dollars. Okay. And this output will get basically replaced with this particular uh, empty parenthesis. Um, this is one API that I've created. I'll also create one direct API where I'll just directly pass out, pass on the hard coded JSON. So that I'm naming it as predict underscore API. So, this JSON also we should get, we should collect it from somewhere, right? So for that, I've created one request.py file. Here I'm giving the URL and I'm just saying that request.post URL and I'm just giving the JSON values that the experience is two years, test score is this, this, and I'm just printing it r.json. So as soon as this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is run in the uh, command prompt, what will happen is that it will go and hit this particular URL, give out this particular JSON values. And in this app.api, this will run it over here and you'll get the output itself. So always remember whenever you're creating a flask, uh, uh, whenever you're creating a flask kind of API deployment, there will be one main function. Okay. And then with respect to that, you always have to import this flask request JSONify and render template. There are various ways to create root directory that is slash, which is my default uh, homepage. Then you have you can create any number of APIs based on that. You can just write your logic over here. Now the main thing is that how do you run this all, right? How do you run this all? Now make sure that you have your file explorer like this. Okay, this is your static. You have your CSS over here. This is your template. You have index over here. I have app.py, my CSV file model k model dot k pkl. You need not run uh, model dot py again because I have the pkl file. All you have to go is that go to your command prompt. Okay, and just write Python, Python, and just see which is your model. Uh, I mean, the Flask API file. This is app.py. Okay, so as soon as you write app.py and just execute it. Okay, 
get some warning do not use the deployment server but it is fine so that it will run in your local machine now just go and copy this and uh, open the browser over here and just go and hit it now this is your uh, home page that you can see away it is very very much simple i just used three fields it is very very simple to see it okay just write your years of experience like i'll say i am eight years of experience my test score should be between zero to ten so my test score is nine and my interview score is eight now it will go and directly predict your salary that your salary should be seventy four thousand six fifty dollars and uh, that is how you have you can do one more way is that i'll go and directly run predict underscore api and remember there from the hardcore json i've already given it but you you can't run it directly so what you can do is that just close this okay that is my predict uh, uh, then what you do is that you can just write python you can just uh, stop this particular application like press control c stop python and you can just write request dot p1 it take some time to execute okay uh, you're getting some error but it is fine uh, what you can do is that uh, okay this cannot be run like a flask api because this is just for the test analysis don't worry about this request dot py it is just like you can see it in your console itself main thing is you just try to run this app for py let us verify once again let me tell you suppose somebody is 12 years of experience is not done well in test score if he is getting 6 and interview score is 5 now you can do the predict oops i'll just run it once again app.py because my you know i closed that app.py flask api so it is just giving me some error saying that the site cannot be reached but now it will be able to reach it see what is the error this now here it is uh, now what i'll do is that i'll just say that the person is 13 years of experience my test that person's test score is 5 interview score is 5 Predict. now you can see that before i had written 8 years of experience and i wrote test score at 9 interview score as 9 gave me the output of somewhere around 75000 now it is less than that even though the experience was high so this is a basic example guys you can apply any model use this generic template you will be able to get it that's it it's very simple. You can also design your own HTML you, if you want. Um, but uh, make sure that each and every field is properly handled into it. And the type of input that you're giving to the model, you make sure that it is properly done. So I hope you like this particular video, guys. Uh, I'm extremely sorry for the delay of this particular video of uh, deployment part. I'll be uploading more about deployment and I'll show you better uh, model altogether. Okay? So don't worry about that. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. I never give up. Keep on learning. God bless you all. Thank you.